Today I'm at the home of my friend Kathy Collins, who has created a whimsical retreat using a combination of plant material and garden art. Everywhere you look there is garden art, from the wheelbarrow spilling over, to the fire hydrant, to the old water pumps. But the plants are the main focus. The garden is designed around plant trials and with very few errors. Kathy likes to try unconventional plant combinations. For example, this old deer feeder is planted with molten lava oxalis, spotted dead nettle, black-eyed Susan vine, English ivy, and the Mississippi medallion winner diamond frost euphorbia. And how much fun are the two frogs swimming on the pond of hardy ice plant? The butterfly garden is a visual treat. Butterfly bush, bee balm, and penta have flowers that all hold nectar. The focal point is the triangular butterfly enclosure. Made from three recycled doors, you can watch the butterflies emerge from their cocoons. One of my favorite plants this year has to be the pretty much Picasso Supertunia with its unique violet purple flowers edged in lime green. Planted in a container, this vigorous plant just spills out. And don't forget about the outdoor kitchen and patio area. Can you think of a better place to unwind and relax after a long day? You don't have to follow rigid design principles to have an effective landscape. If you like it, plant it and enjoy your garden. I'm Gary Bachman for Southern Gardening.